my god. No umbrellas allowed. Alright, let's figure this out. What is this? 20 age 80 Agic City. Jesus. What happened? Last night, there was a massive explosion at the Citizens Alliance Research Institute in Central Bunker District. Due to the explosion, most of the artificial rain tech files and the fixer manufacturing facilities are all gone. The government and the Association of Victims of Avarice Crimes have announced that they need at least eight more weeks to resume the Fixerain project. For now, Adjic City, the last city waiting for the Fixerain, is to stay dry for a few more weeks. Uh, interesting. Hey, are you dead? Please help me. An AVAC guy is coming. Um, this is Dal Pong Joe from AVAC. I've just heard some. Ah, look at the night sky. More beautiful than ever, isn't it? What? What's wrong with him? Is he injured? Is he from the institute? No, this is my son. He's got weak legs since he was a child. It's typical, don't worry, do you need any help? No, everything's fine. What? Hmm. Uh, okay. Wait, what? He like covered for him, but I thought he said I an AVAC is coming. Lucky me, you fit the profile. Uh, okay. Uh... Did he install something on my head, or was my head like that? Hey, you are here. The doctor said your face got the most injuries, so he covered your whole face with bandages. You can take them off after a week, but he's not sure your face will be the same as it was before. Ah. What the hell? I'm Dar Darcy, just an old-timer who owns a second-hand shop nearby. And from this moment, you'll be my son, Bob. What the fuck? I know you're not just an ordinary fugitive, and AVAC will keep track of you as you showed up right after the accident. So after you get back on your feet, you should manage my store, pretending you are my son. Okay. The store is on the B1 level of the Bad Badopolis in Sing Sing Side. Just across the bridge. And you... Day one. Oh my god, it just reminds me of Granny. Badopolis and Sing Sing? Where's Jig Jig Street? Bob's Burger, parenthesis, kebab. Oh shit. Bug report? What the fuck? Uh, hey, you're new here, aren't you? You gotta pay a fee to pass through here. What are you staring at? Looks like you really are new here. Falling for this crap. Beat it before I really make you pay. Okay. What the fuck is going on right now? What are these? Haga City. Okay, how about I fucking pay him? Pay off. 15 V. Okay, pay off. I can't. Wait, he left. No, he didn't. He's right here. Call elevator. Uh, I'm gonna go to the middle. Okay, I think we're gonna go down actually. Never mind. Let me call the elevator again and go to the bottom. Okay, sure. Wait, this is the bottom. And then I can't go this way. And you can't go through Haga City. Okay, we're already lost. And I can't enter these doors. I guess we're gonna go to the top instead. That's the only way to do it. Yeah, I cl oh, right here, right here. Simuric Lops. Move to Mendeleso. What? 
Aren't you looking for a John a side? What was it again? Sing Sing on Bataball, whatever the fuck street. I'm already lost, yo. I feel like I'm a dude who just came out of a hospital, just like running around. This must be the right place. Hey yo, is this the way to Bagadopolis? Hey yo. Hey yo. I think it is. Badopolis on Sing Sing Street. Oh, oh. This way, it must be to the right. Sing Sing! We did it, owned. Move, look. Was it, was it the middle floor? Okay, a lot of people don't like AVAC. I think I just saw it was Darcy's. This is the store. Oh my God, we made it. Oh! Hi, I'm Hugh. People call me the Sphinx of Darcy's. And you are, you look much better now. Welcome to Darcy's, the secondhand shop. I've been running this place for more than 30 years. And as I told you, you are now my son, Bob, who will inherit this store for me. That is why I picked you up from the beach. AVAC's been pers per per perstering me, or pestering you me about his whereabouts, and I need, okay. After all that time, now they're looking for Bob. Oh, but Darcy, what if Bob coming back out of the blue? That is not gonna happen. It's been almost a decade since he left. By the way, this one here is Hugh. I've got a mouth on it, but it will be of help anyways. Now let's start discussing what you are going to do here. Here, you are going to both buy and sell things and you must stay alert at all times. Every customer wants to get paid more. That's because this place is off the grid from the citizen discourse data radar. I did it so that I don't have to care about AVAC in here. There are side effects, just like Hugh said. Customers all get so cocky as soon as they get in here. Anyways, for today, I'll teach you how to negotiate price when buying things. That's where to start. When buying things, it's really important to find a balance. It has to be a price that the customer can accept and that can still make you a profit when resold. So you can't just start yelling out prices. You have to appraise the item first. When it comes to appraising things, I use cards. Oh God. Oh God. Customers introduce their items with cards. Cup 29V if without a lack of fins or a long ton. Double A logo leather minus 50V. One of the async awaits original materials. Gray card, base information, base price. Green card, detailed information, changes in price. Okay. Oh, I forgot the blue cards. Nice. Green cards include objective information. On the other hand, blue cards are close to opinions. Just like how, how damaged, how popular, rare an item is. Rare, plus 25, raise the price by 25. Sharing blue cards are like sharing your opinion at which customers may protest or get mad. Oh, I see. To share a card with a customer, you must insert the card in the card slot. The combination of the cards yields a price. You can use it as a guideline while bargaining. Okay. Uh, but don't worry too much about colors. For now, focus on bargaining and the price based on the cards. Here, the gray card for this bag says bag. Bags are usually sold for 100 Vanus. Hate it. Okay. Let's say brand A is pretty high end, which means the price goes up by 200. Okay. Cowhide means adding an extra 50 V to the price. And finally, the price went down by 20 cents. It's slightly damaged. Okay. Now you can start bargaining based on the price these cards have set. So I make the cards on evaluating and then I try to evaluate around this. Can you see 20? That's the guideline. You can suggest to it from the start if you want to go easy, but if you want to make a profit, you better cut it by at least one third. Decide how much to offer at first. Offer less than 70% of the guideline. Make an offer, use the calculator to set its buying price and press offer. Say yes or no to a customer's offer. So we wanna always go below 280 so we make more money. I just gotta try it. Sometimes there's so much text, you just gotta play it and it's like more intuitive that way. So since this is it right, use the calculator on your down right and try 190. Oh my God, we have a calculator. I like to call 190 good, but mostly customers won't accept your first offer. Instead, they will make a counter offer like this. How about 240? Oh no, I don't know about that. Okay, so I can decline, decline, decline. Do I type 240 and decline it? What? 
What if I instead just counter with a 200? 200 is the best I can offer. Well, all right, I usually negotiate back and forth a few more times, but it's good for now. By the way, I didn't mention what you owe me. While fixing you, it took 500 V and I gave, this has like a little bit of papers, please, a little of this, a little of this. So you owe me 1500 V, pay me back the total month. I'll take 15 V per day as interest, so it's not a good strategy to leave you debt unpaid for long. Oh, that's what that was. And it's, wait, same dev lies. If you don't save money, you won't be treated as a human being after you become a fixie. Strictly speaking, there are not human beings. Anyways, to be treated in a fair way, even after you get fixed, you have to join the fixie pension plan. To join it... I forgot again, there's silly requirements. Just so we're clear, it's not because he's old, it's because there was more than one. As far as I remember, you joined it by paying 10,000 V or was it 30,000 V? I'll let you know the details next time. Making some money is the first thing to do anyways, and don't say anything you shouldn't when the AVAC shows up. Just don't try to get involved with them. Good luck then. Have a great day. Okay, so, all right. So we're a fucking pawn shop in 2080. I guess that's cool. Dear citizens of Agic City, good morning from the Association of Victims of Avarice Crimes. They broadcast in the manor every day. Stay closer to you than ever until Fixer comes down again. Let's win victory in the war against greed together. Thank you. Uh-oh. You are new here, aren't you? I am. Does Darcy have a problem in managing his part-time workers? The last guy was a nightmare, though. So how good are you? Do you know how to name prices? Whoa, lady. Hold on, hold on. This is Bob. He's some part-time... Oh. You're Darcy's son? Then is Nari your daughter? Oh, God. No, you're talking about Buck Goo. This here's Buck Goo's younger brother, Bob. Oh. And Bob never got intimidated by customers. Am I right, Bob? Exactly. His hands are shaking already. Okay. Anyways, take a look at this. My daughter gave this to my ex-husband, who used to be her father. Okay. Used to be? What the fuck? Would you please figure it out by yourself? People expect too much from me. I'm divorced. Living with that man meant nothing but a threat to my daughter and me. We always had to keep our heads down when AVAC's near. I heard he's doing some kind of one-man protest these days. He has some kind of hero complex to stand against AVAC. Anyways, what's written on there is removal, so don't worry about that. Start by 35V. Relax! Who's the expert? Young Choi, the best father in the world. Can I not, like, fucking look at this closer? Can I, uh... Okay, so... Can I remove the cards? No. No. He said start at 60. So how does... Okay, no... Okay, so 50 is normal. Recycle. The price goes up when it's a, it is a target material. How do you inspect that shit? Perfect condition raises it by 10. I'm just gonna... He said 35. Okay, fine. We'll do 35 and offer. How about 35? Yeah, well, all right. And hey, you should get your hue repaired or something. Yours is so rude. Hues are supposed to talk back to its owner like that. Aren't supposed to. Please leave me now, dear no... Okay, that was easy. Here's a tip for stock management. All items you purchase go directly to the inventory. Items are listed here. Click each item to see its details. Okay. Uh, let's open. It's the button on the center right with a small triangle. I'm blind, chat. Center right with a triangle. I see a triangle. Where the fuck is this? Is it I? It's I. You could have just said I, you fuck. Holy fuck, I didn't even see this. Appraised at, bought at. Customers can't see what's... I missed it. Displaying, display items to start selling. So an item drag out on it. Set the selling price. Okay. Okay, so if we take this... This is the showcase. And then you can put it anywhere. Can I put it here? Appraise 60, special price 60. This is recommended, so it's the biggest spot. So what if we sell it for like 75? Sure. And I think we're good. Good job. Okay, are you having fun? Lady, I am busy. Relax. 
She's so twisted. So you don't see what you're selling in the store? I wonder what this is. Reputation card. Wit wittiness of Darcy's. This card will give you more advantage if you keep recommended valuable items. It will make customers trust your recommendations and encourage them to make a purchase. Okay. Sure. All right. The card Wittiness of Darcy's is one of the reputational cards, and Darcy will soon explain more about them. Okay. Let's see. Hi. How's your day? Hello. So you're the devoted son. Why does that, what the fuck is this? Lady, just show some shit. I don't want a conversation. Don't worry, it doesn't smell. What the fuck? Thank us, cause we're gonna let you know you have a huge problem with your nose. Okay, uh, socks, cotton, it lowers the price by 60%. Okay, so 19, we're gonna offer 10. Okay, 10, no, fuck this lady. Eight, all right, take it or leave it. I think 12 is fair. No, no, eight, ma'am, eight. Eight is the best. Is that your final offer? Yes, I'd like to stop here. It looks like we can never get to an agreement. All right, take your fucking fap socks. I don't realize her fucking son fapped in it like 10 times. Is this, yeah, the secondhand shop? Sorry, I don't know anything about this town. Oh, are you from another city? Have you escaped the fix rate? No, I was studying abroad and just came back to find my friend. Then why are you here at not your friend's house? There's an issue, and I'm here to ask you to keep this for me. I have to look around for a place to stay, but it's so heavy, and I'm afraid of AVAC. Where'd you get a moon rock like this, by the way? And have you been carrying this around the whole time? Yeah, it's almost, pu it almost pulled out my arms. Lady, do we look like a fucking storage facility? Anyways, I'll be here by this evening, so please wait for me and don't sell it. What the fuck? Uh, no, we're selling that. Appraised at 425. Yeah, we're selling it. Fuck the trophy. 425. Limited time offer, 450. No, 420. 420. Offer. Who's gonna buy it? We'll see. We'll see. Nah, man, what? Yo, who even is a random ass? What the fuck? This is a business. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Agigar. We have two news stories coming right up. News time. Okay, this guy can wait. Oh, good. My TV at home is broken. Is this a coffee shop, asshole? Has launched your investigation into the fire at the... Carry. The investigation is focused on finding if their fire was a mere unfortunate accident or an act of arson. It's clearly arson. Everyone was just waiting for someone to act. Whoever set that place on fire, I'm fully behind them. Next up, Professor Yang Chi Choi is staging a one-man project against AVAC. He argues that the lack of clear standards for what are and are not AVAR's crimes will cause huge confusion. He also claims AVAC isn't already all up. I respect his courage, but don't you think he's all just talk? Why can't you do something real like that arsonist? Motherfucker, do you have something to sell, you piece of shit? The sound's not working. I told Darcy to at least get a somewhat decent TV. Bunker Freedom is opening its doors once again. Okay, the bunker's opening again. It's gonna get loud around here to let as many citizens as possible avoid fixed rate, and we have lowered the entrance fee. The last time they said that, they charged 100,000 V. The new entrance fee is 25,000 V per citizen. This is fantastic. I can hide from Fixer with 25,000 V. Of course, only pure floaties can enter the bunker. And ticket sales are scheduled to begin in five weeks. Until the day we meet, the Bunker of Freedom will be waiting for all of you. The citizen discourse data is still pretty quiet. Folks must be watching out on what they say because of AVAC. But the data require a block in your right. This is all a shut the fuck up and give me some shit so I can sell it. He fucking left. They didn't mention one thing. I'm curious if they'll charge you extra for bringing you. Okay. I can't. I don't know. This game. I don't know if I have the patience for this game right now, guys. Too much fucking dumbass dialogue. Everything going. Of course, I'm here. Everything's easy yet, huh? What is that rock in the storage? Guess what? That's a moon rock. Then maybe you can make some money by selling it. Where'd you get it? Some lady.
lady just came in and asked. So you got it for free? Yeah, but she will come back in a few hours. If she's that stuff, I mean, if she's in a switch, I'm pretty sure that she's being chased by the back. She won't make it then. Why don't you just give it to me? I was actually in need of money. Come on. No, bro. No. Looks like I bought a stubborn one. Fine. Fine. You can't hurt his feelings like that, Bob. Whatever, man. I'm, I'm trying to fucking sell it. Hi. So you're the devoted son who came back giving up his life in Bluebird. Herm, I'd like to sell this here. Thank you. I found it in a dim corner in my room. I expected more stuff to be on the showcase, by the way. I don't know if we want this. No one's gonna buy this, ma'am. Literally no one wants this. Okay, we'll give you 15. Final offer. That's it. I think we still got chances to compromise, so what would you say to 18? Ma'am, listen, it's literally no one fucking cares, okay? It's literally no one cares, okay? The highest we're gonna go is 16. Take it or leave it. If you're trying to piss me off, I'd like to say, knock it off. Still, that's not enough to change our- Alright, then don't put it on your fucking bathroom wall, alright? We don't want it! We don't want it! 16! I think you're just draining me. Why don't we just stop here? I want to stop talking to a wall. All right, bitch. Go fucking talk to the picture. Jesus. Er, hi. So you're the devoted son who came back giving up his life in Bluebird. How does everyone know the fucking son? Could you buy this off of me? I got it when the cafe first opened. I hate their coffee. It's fairly damaged. Okay, fine, fine. You know, no, nine, no, 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 seven, seven. But I don't want to drag myself down, I'll accept that. That's what I like to see. Perfect, thank you. Thank you. Oh my God, oh my God, this lady's back. Oh my God, we're so fucked. Appraised, bought. Okay, we're gonna sell it for 12. See what happens. Oh no. Do I know you? I'm sorry, it gets crazy in here. It's been only a few hours since I came to this city and you're doing this to me? Wait, what? Who? It was people like you who made Jisoo suffer. Who? Uh oh. Did she ever mention the name Jisoo before? I don't know, man. Fucking Google that shit. Who's Jisoo? My ex gave it to me some time ago. I think you can kindly tell me how much this is worth. Uh, is this like small sized LED notice board? 86 plastic plus five. It lowers the price by 90% valueless. Oh my God, lol. Lady. Fucking, we don't want your fucking shit-ass hollow cake or whatever the fuck this is. I'll give you two. No, fine. Because I'm nice. Come on, I know you are generous. This, that is generous. I'd like this offer three. Do you not want to compromise? Why don't we just stop here? I want to stop talking. Oh, 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 nice fucking dialogue, bitch. All right, copy, paste, copy, paste. She's probably friends with the other lady. The moon rock on the showcase. How much is it? Ah, 420. That's good. I'll take it. All right, cool. Have fun. Uncle? What the fuck is going on here? My face is covered in shit. My ass. Why is she being so weird, Bob? This is Nari Joe. She's her fake niece. Dude. You mean he's my fake uncle? Why would Bob leave Bluebird for a shithole like this in the first place? Hey, you, if you're dreaming about inheriting this store, you better shut it off right now because there's no seat for a bogus son like you. Whoa. And this place is supposed to be mine once Grandpa passes away. Alright, what have you done? 
Now cut the crap and buy off this cup. Whoa! Why do you keep bringing garbage like this? Do I have to explain? Or why don't you sell your paintings? You have tons of them. Stop that joke. Do you think I'd sell my works to a place like this? Please think before you open your mouth. Whoa! Quit whining and take this cup for 90. You know, that's a special deal. Fuck no! Fuck no! No way! Here's fucking 20, you fucking Walmart-ass cup. And let me make this one thing clear. If you ever ruin this soon-to-be inherited Denari store, I'll make you into a huge just like that thing. Sorry, you're crossing the line. Anyways, once Grandpa finds out what a deadbeat you are, he'll handle it himself. Alright. This fucking bitch. She just wanted money. You have to stay strong, Bob. She even makes me want to run away sometimes. Oh, God. Alright. Breaking news. Yay. The, uh, okay. It's still looking for four missing persons after the fire broke in the Citizen of the Lion Research Institute. All missing are men in their 30s, including accounting staff, Sang Su An, Bob Bay, and Jisoo Cha. Oh, wait, no. Bok Bay and Jisoo Cha, who've been working as researchers. An experiment participant, Yang Do, are missing as well. This is reporter Se Wu O oh for Agic Agic News. You don't need to avoid my eyes. I don't care if you're one of the four missing. Just don't cause any harm to me, Darcy. So how was your first date? Come on, Darcy, I was with him the whole day. Yeah, and he's still here with us. By the way, there's a thing you have to do. Next Monday, AVAC will come by to check your identification. So you have to make a fake ID by this Friday. Fortunately, there's a man who can make fake IDs. He lives in the same building as you right above your room. Visit him after work since he sleeps during the day and works at night. That's for 800V for making a fake certificate. If you can afford it, visit him right after this. Darcy, what if our new Bob fails to get a fake ID? Well, then the AVAC will come to take my fake son away. Ah! Oh, is it closed? Yeah, sorry, we're closed. And what about the gentleman here? He's the owner. Oh, is he? By the way, is this the theme here? Theme what theme? To wrap up an employee's face to make him look like a mummy, or was he just caught in a terrible turmoil? Nah, just kidding. Have a good evening. Uh, okay. Asshole. Did he hear us? Nah, I don't think so, but no, let's forget about him. Anyways, just make sure you get your fake ID by this Friday. I wrote it on the calendar, too. Too small one. The small one behind me. All right. Alrighty. <sighs> I feel like this game just has like too much fucking dialogue. Am I wrong? It's all just like stupid shit. I like the gist of the game, but it's like, yeah. Okay, I'm assuming I need to go back on that bridge and uh, head back the way I came completely. Wait, what the fuck? Where was the way down from here? Oh, here it is. So he said that I need to get a fake ID and it's someone that lives above me. And he works at night. I think I live at the, don't, don't I live on the middle or do I live at the bottom? Who's there? Oh, this is it. Darcy sent you money first, 800 V. Here you go. Good, your name Bob Joe, huh? I'll send it to you Monday morning. Check your inventory then. It'll have a purple booklet. That's your ID. Now go away. Whoa. All right, all right. I think we did it. I think we did it. Fucking Bob. Fucking Bob. Nice. We did it. Nice. Day two. Okay, so he said Monday morning I'll have my shit. Let's do one more day in the shop and see what happens. 
sold the only thing you weren't supposed to sell. I know, right? Oh my god, this bitch. Here comes another jobless wimp. Don't walk around doing nothing. Just stand somewhere like me. What you looking at? I get lost. All right, guy. Relax. Jeez. He's always got something up his ass. Every fucking time, man. This is mine. No, it's mine. Oh my god. Who's this guy? Give me the... What happened? I'm like stuck. Ouch. Hey, I'm sorry, but an AVAC man was right there. He freaked me out. No one likes the AVAC dudes. Jeez, did you forget to wash your face? Just go sleep. You got sleep in your eyes, Bob. This is the Association of Victims of Adverse Crimes. Oh God, are you Mr. Bob Joe? Oh my, are you here to take him away? This must be a record. We received a report about you from your niece, Nari Joe. Nari, not again. She said you're uh, so obsessed with money and never looked after her. She also said she could prove it. So you either pay the fine right now to prove your non-possession spirit or get arrested by a AVAC. Oh no, oh no. What's going on? It's an emergency. Darcy Bob's in danger. Mr. Joe, your granddaughter reported your son for adverse crime. Jesus, let me take care of this. Can we talk outside, Miss Sion Gong? Yes, Miss Gong. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, she left as well. What a badass. I love Darcy. Anyways, morning, Bob. I made a song about you yesterday. It's called New Bob Bebop. Bob Bar Beep. New Bob Boop. It's the new Bob and Down. New Bob Boop. Wow, that was so cool. Good morning, Vanette. They cut me up. Have a restrained and greed free day. Thank you. Since you haven't run away yet, now it's time for me to re teach you how to check materials and damage levels. Let's look at the bag from yesterday. I said that this bag is in perfect condition, but before moving on to the next step, you should check for yourself by using a tool. Oh, a tool. Here's the toolbox. Click the damage assessor and move it onto the bag. It's in the, the second slot. Oh. Okay, okay. And then we have a magnifier thingy, majigger or something. What do we do with this? What are you waiting for? Try using the, I did. Do I have to click it? It's not really perfect, right? Then let's move onto its material. Click the material magnifier. Okay, let's see here. It looks good to me. You see it's material up close, but you can't tell what exactly this is for now. That's when you do this manual. Oh my God. Go to the materialist and the manual and find out which material looks closest to it. Okay. I mean, if you look, none of them. Drag the one you found out from the list to the slot you'll be putting, you're pulling out a card and pulling it into the slot. Boys. Maybe it's this one. Maybe. Maybe. What do you guys think, Chad? I'd say it's that one. It's cowhide. That's it. Did you see the card and the price changing? Next, let's head to condition page for the manual list. Use the damage hunt again to decide. Oh, okay. So now we're actually putting the cards in ourselves. So, I mean, I don't fucking know, man. I mean, I'm assuming it's slightly damaged. It's slightly damaged. The card and the slot are tagged to items and shared with customers as you put things on the showcase. To let customers know the item is worth this much, the cards have to be accurate and concrete to earn the trust of the customers, and with the trust, you will be able to sell more, so keep in mind to use the tools in the manual. And there's one more! Once a customer accepts a card, you can't undo it, which means you cannot remove or replace cards once the deal is closed, so don't lose focus during an appraisal. It's the only chance you can decide which card to tag. But there's one last thing you have to keep in mind during appraisal. You already mentioned the card wittiness of Darcy's right. The two cards you and I told you about are called reputation cards. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. The game. It's crashing. Oh god. Oh god. What the fuck just happened? Are you serious? Oh, I'm so sad.